That is a lot of tickets, dude. Oh, yo! Yeah! <laughs> Jackpot! All right, guys, here we go. Going for yellow. No! All right, Logan, this is the place. Come on down. This might be a great place to build our arcade. Awesome. Dude, I'm pretty excited. Is, is that him? I think that's him. I said he was old, but not that old. Hey, how's it going? We're here to look at the place? Yeah, she is. Place to ask to look after, you say. Yeah, let's, let's go check the place out. Yeah, let's go check her out. A little bit of a fixer up, I you say, but it used to be a pancake making factory. Ooh, it's nice. Made all these nice yummy pancakes. But anyway, the pancake business went downhill, and so did the rent payments, which is why I had to foreclose on that. I'll open it up now for y'all to see. What she looks like inside. Don't know what you boys are thinking about doing with her, but lots of space. Lots of building opportunity, yeah. Say I can give you this for uh, 40 rolls of tape, yeah. Uh, Logan's gonna go grab it. We've got all the tape Here, for you. I got it, I got it. The rest is in the car, but we have 40 rolls. All right, 40 rolls. <laughs> Didn't think you'd fall for that one, you say. Well, very well, place is yours for 40 rolls. So does that mean we get the place today? Yeah, yeah. Looks like our box for an arcade's really gonna happen. Now don't go making pancakes, you say. That didn't turn out right for the last guys. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa JQ from Team Ripney and we are back with a brand new video and today, guys, oh, you threw a pancake at me. Why would you do that? My it's pancake, pancake. My pancake, it's now I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Oh. Well, that did not taste like a pancake. But anyway guys, we are back and we are doing a very awesome video today. We're doing a video I've wanted to do for quite some time now because you know me, I love two things. I love box forts. And I also love penguins. We are making a box for an arcade. And of course, guys, if you happen to be new to the channel, if you happen to be new to this family, be sure to smack the subscribe button, join the Papa Jake family, and of course, guys, do not forget to hit that little tiny bell button. Because if you hit the tiny bell button, you will never miss a video. Or you guys could miss me hitting my head on that lantern the that's, other day. That's that true. Was, uh... Oh! Uh, you could have missed that. That hurt a lot. Yo! Yo! Look, oh my, I'm not doing that. What's going on? Alright, so our segue is a little bit messed up. So I'm down here, right? You go up there, I have to bounce the ball up to you. Pop Jake power, here we go. at the place where we are gonna be building our box for arcade. So, this is the box fort we're gonna be using. It's the billionaire's box fort that we used in our $1 versus billionaire's box fort video. And we're gonna convert this into an arcade, but we got two problems, Logan. One, to make an arcade, we need to make this thing two stories because I don't know about you, but I've never been to an arcade where I have to kneel down to play before. Also, we have to figure out what games we're gonna put in it because we don't have that much room. We don't have unlimited room. So I'm thinking we go for the basics, all right? I'm thinking we have ski ball, which is like, it's like bowling, but like extreme bowling. And then we have air hockey, one of my personal favorites. And then we're gonna have this bad boy. We have here a Super Nintendo. It's a Super Nintendo classic. So it comes with like a hundred of the classic Nintendo games. And this is perfect to make like one of those vintage arcade boxes. I'm gonna get a flat screen TV, put it inside a box, and then have both the controllers here, sticking out the bottom so you can play any game you want from Donkey Kong to Mario to like Zelda. So this is gonna be a really cool feature. Let's get some cardboard, TVs, and anything else we need to make this thing. So I came up in my room to get the TV, but I thought I'd play a pretty funny prank on Logan. I've got this box here, which is what we've been storing the monitors in. I'm gonna throw it off the balcony there. The second Logan comes upstairs, not only scare him, but he's gonna think I just broke our TV. Logan, I got the TV. What? I got the TV. Catch! I also just realized I came very close to killing Logan. <laughs> Let's head back downstairs and start building this thing. I think we gotta start with turning this into a two-story box for it. There's also a few things that are gonna be a bit difficult to make, like air hockey's gonna be tricky. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I've got some really cool ideas. So you're gonna have to wait for that. Hopefully we'll have enough room in here, but let's start taking the roof off. Logan, I low key thought you were about to dive on the roof, and I was like, no! <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be like whack a mole. Yeah, I know, right? Like, yeah! I was like, yo, real life box for whack a mole. That's an idea for another day. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start cutting this roof. <laughs> 
we got this side of the roof cut, which is the side that the ski ball is gonna be on. Now that this is done, we just have to make the roof on this side as well as set up the lighting. Then we can get inside and start working on the games. Probably the hardest is gonna be the air hockey. I still don't know if that's gonna exactly work, but I'm really excited to try it out. But all right guys, so let's start working on this side of the roof and then we can start up on the ski ball game. Check it out, just finished the roof. It's looking great. As you guys can see, we did a bunch of the lighting in the arcade and we can change it with the LED lighting on the wall so we can make it whatever color. So of course you can make it like green, you could make it, eh, red's not too bad, but I like it on this one. So now that that's done guys, we've got this area over here for gaming. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my ski ball area over here and then probably around this corner here is where we're gonna put the air hockey table. Still not 100% sure how we're gonna make that, but if the way I think I'm gonna make it works, it'll be really cool. But right now I'm gonna start working on the ski ball set. We can have a section like this here with a little jump here and then we just have to cut out holes that the balls can go in here. Now I still have to tape around the holes so it's got like that barrier where the ball will still fall through and then each one will have a different point system. It's not super advanced, the ball's not gonna come back to you, all right? But it should work as a mini ski ball set, which I'm pretty stoked about. So before we make the actual ski ball arcade game, we gotta test out if this actually works. It's gonna work, man. This is my baby, all right? Yo, that totally works! And then you get the, the zero ball if it goes down there. Okay, zero if it goes down. Let's say the highest one is up there. Well, I'm gonna oh, give it okay, some right, hard right. power. Whoa! Better idea. Yeah. Two in one game. We have the ski ball down there. Let's make a basketball net up there. Oh, dude. Then we can take trick shots. This is coming together sweet. And look at this. This is like two slabs of cardboard. Do you know how much the ski ball thing costs? It's gotta be in the millions. All right guys, so we just finished decking out Ski Ball. It is looking super cool. Jake, what do you think? Dude, that looks amazing. I cannot wait to play. I saw you checking it out over there and I was like, I wanna play Ski Ball right now. While Logan was working on that, I've been working on the arcade machine here and as you guys can see, we're using the Super Nintendo. You put your token in and then you're good to play any game you want. You got Donkey Kong, Mario. Dude, that is looking awesome. I still don't know if it's gonna work, guys. This is my attempt at DIY air hockey. So, the cool thing about this arcade is that everything here you can pretty much do at home. All you need is a little bit of cardboard for this. Definitely only need a little bit of cardboard and any ball for that. Basketball, just need a hoop, which we're gonna make. And then this, if it works, will be really simple. My idea for this, is we take our little pump here that we use for pumping up pool toys. So what you would do is now we would have this inside of a box and then you poke holes and keep this running. So as this is running, little tiny holes are on here pushing out air, which then you can slide across our little hockey puck, which will be of course made out of cardboard. Jake, you are a mad scientist. I don't know how he comes up with this stuff, but I gotta give it to him. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, dude, I am excited to try this out. Hey, in worst case, you got yourself a little makeshift blow up chair. All we need to do is blow this up, hope that it doesn't explode out of the box. I really don't think this is gonna work. So it, uh, it did not work. Perhaps if we had double the air. Jake, we're shutting this down. This idea needs to be okay. shut down. We're moving on, Jake. In theory, this was gonna work, and unfortunately, it did not. It was a mixture of not enough air, and also, when we tried to put the holes in, uh, it just, yeah, it got really ripped. And now it's an inflatable chair. Blow her up, I'm sitting on her. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! It's not even an inflatable chair, man. It's an inflatable nothing. So change of plans. Because air hockey didn't exactly work out, that's something we might need to revisit in the future. We decided to make a new game. It's called Flick Soccer. Check it out. So we've turned this into a soccer field. Where'd the ball go? Or football field, if you guys are in Europe. You have to use your fingers as little soccer players. So we got to cut out the nets. We have a ping pong ball as a soccer ball. And honestly, this is a lot of fun. I've never even played this before or seen this. I think we might have invented a game. We just finished the box for the arcade. We've got all of our stuff inside and this thing is looking amazing. Logan, you ready to go play some arcade games? I'm ready. All right, let's jump inside, open up the door. Oh, dude. This box for arcade has everything. We got the ski ball over here. We got the flick ball over here. We've got the arcade system over here. And we even have basketball. And the coolest part, guys, is we can win prizes. Because if you do well in the game, 
the arcade dispenses tickets. So of course, if you beat Mario, you get a bunch of tickets. If you get your skee ball points up, you get a bunch of tickets, and then you can go ahead and cash those in for real prizes. So I think it's time we start. Logan, what do you want to start with? Let's start with skee ball. Okay, all right, dude. I'm I've been so excited to check this out. All right, guys. So here's the skee ball setup. So we've got our balls here, which you might remember from the bowling ball video. It's just a regular ball with tape on it, and essentially you roll it. And it goes up here. Now you have different points that you can get in. So this is like the hardest point because there's no blocker. Then you have the middle section, bottom middle, and top left. You ready to have a little competition, Logan, so you can win some tickets? Oh, dude, check out the tickets. You get double for this one. Box Ford Ski Ball. Let's do this. Like, I want to go up for that top one to get the most tickets, but at the same time, I got to play it safe. Ooh, all right, all right. But the ball came back, so I get to go again. Not looking too good, eh, Jake? All right, you know what, man? I got this. Oh. Oh. That's pretty sweet. All right, guys, out of my 10 throws, I have four left. Here we go. Oh, oh. three more throws. I'm going to go for that middle one again. Oh, the middle one's good, man. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Well, I got a few tickets. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, all right, I got a few tickets here, not too bad. I'm gonna keep these in my pocket and cash these in at the end of the game here. All right, Logan, looks like you're up. First ball. Uh, this is like really hard. <laughs> oh. No! Ooh, close. Oh! <laughs> that was so close to jackpot. Oh, oh I'm going so for yellow. Close. All right, guys, here we go, going for yellow. Oh, oh that was no. so close. Oh. Oh. oh, dude! Does that count? I think that that counts as going into yellow. Yo, check your tickets, bro. Dude, look at all the tickets that you're getting. Yo, the jackpot is real. It keeps going. It literally just keeps going. Here you go, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got like this little thing. You're gonna get like the biggest prize ever. For the next thing, I definitely have to take the cake because I want to win the jackpot. Next up, we're doing the basketball game. Ten shots. The jackpot is if you get every single one in. You guys know me. I got this. First shot. One. Oh, he's going for it. Two. Oh, Jake. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yo, it's getting close. Seven. No way. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Yo. Ten. <laughs> jackpot. Oh, they're coming out, Jake. Here they are, dude. Come on, come oh, on. Yeah. Yo, jackpot. That is a lot of tickets, dude. Wait, all right. So, so far, I've got these. Oh, it's already like double what I had before. Yo, come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I don't know what I'm going to buy, but I'm going to get the best prize ever. It's almost as many as you had, dude. That is a good ticket haul, bro. Plus these, I'm getting myself a big prize, baby. Oh, trick shot, dude. I should get some points for that. Back in the day, I used to play basketball for a living. All right, let's see what you got, Kobe. Let's here we go. Shot number one's in. Bing, bing, bing. Ooh. Shot number three's oh, in. Oh, here we go, guys. We're going for 10. Shot number oh. four, five, six, oh. seven. Oh, guys, here we go. Eight. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Dude, you were so close to a jackpot. How do you mess that up? Yo, check out how many tickets you got. That's it? One less than you, and that's all I got. <laughs> Basketball and ski ball are done. Time to head to the other side of the arcade. We got Mario. Let's go check that out. This is in the classic arcade system. Basically, the objective is if you can complete a level, you get tickets. I'm not exactly sure how the ticket system will work for this, but let's sit and do my best here. Oh, yo, Mario. <laughs> There's so much stuff coming. Game over. I tried my best on that one. That one's hard. How many tickets did we get? Oh, man. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Got some of the blue arcade tickets. That looks like you're up, Logan. Let's see how well you can do on Mario. Oh, no. You got some tickets. It's not bad. Some tickets is better than no tickets, so 
Yo, are these all my tickets? No. These whoa, are whoa. all my tickets! <laughs> Alright guys, so as you saw, we tried to make air hockey, but then we came up with a brand new game, finger soccer. The way that it works is you have a soccer field here, and you have to use your fingers to kick the ball. Now, you can't take your hand and just put it wherever you want on the field. You have to run there using your fingers. Oh, like that's like... Well, it could be like, like this, people? it could be like this, yeah, it's little finger people. And then you have to kick it into the net, so you're both a goalie and the offense. Ready for the world's first match of finger soccer! Take your positions in three, two, one, fight! Coming up. Oh. Guys, the cool thing about finger soccer is unlike, oh. Oh, unlike the air hockey table, this is extremely easy to make at home. All you need is a little bit of cardboard, some tape for the lines, and then a ping pong ball. Oh, was that a goal? No. You know what it probably was. Oh, I, I dude, that see. looked like a goal, man. The kick. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Oh. Oh, was that a goal? It's one all, guys. Here we go. Finger soccer championships. The skills are real. Get the ball going for the bicycle kick. Oh. Three, Three, two, two one. one, go. Oh, dude! That's a penalty! Oh, he's trying to get back up. Oh, no. All right, looks like that's going to be a penalty shot here. Oh, that was close. Take my hand, we'll oh. make it somehow. Go. We can miss out. Oh. I'm done if he scores again, he wins the game. All right, ready, guys? I learned this in FIFA Street. No! Dude! Looks like Logan wins finger Where soccer. Where's the ticket? You don't win tickets in finger soccer, Logan. It's like it's when you play air hockey at the arcade. You don't win tickets. In fact, we had to pay to play this game. If you guys decide to make one of these things, definitely try out finger soccer. And let me know, guys, out of every game we have here, what is your favorite out of all of them? And which one do you think you're going to try making at home? We have ourselves some tickets. Logan, I think it's time we go cash these in. Let's do it. Let's see what prizes we get. Grab the tickets, dude. Let's knock on the ticket booth. Young winners of tickets, how might I help you? Seems you boys have got yourself an assortment of tickets. Wonderful! What does this get me? Ah, very well, very well. Let's see here. I'll count these. Perfect! I'll be right back. All right, you have your choice between a cockroach and a used water bottle. Wonderful! A used water bottle or a cockroach? Oh, that's not that many tickets. Dude, that's terrible. Uh, if you would like, I could show you some of the other prizes. Wonderbar, we have here a Star Wars R2-D2 remote control drone. Yeah, that's awesome. Can we that get it? That would be sweet. Uh, will, will this get it? In Wonder Won't, this is 18 billion tickets. That's billions of tickets. We don't have that many. Uh, why don't you give me all your tickets and I'll see what we have. Wonderbar. Oh, oh, Wonderbar. Uh, here's the last of our tickets. Wonderbar! You boys did quite a good job. Total ticket count, 100,000 tickets. I'll show you what you can choose from. I have here two fake pancakes. Well, one's a cake and one's a pancake. I don't want those. They're not even real. You can't eat them. Well, you don't have that many tickets, but I might have something just for you. One second. We have here a Minecraft skeleton plushie. Yeah, yeah, o okay, we'll take that. That's pretty cool. Here you are, your Minecraft skeleton plushie. Goodbye! Alright, dude, that's not bad. That's a pretty cool toy, I guess. Minecraft plushie! For Yo! Hours in the arcade. That's awesome, let's check him out. Dude, we should give him a name. Like Randall. What's up, I'm Randall. How's it going? Who wants Randall in every video from now on? Put Randall, hashtag Randall, hashtag Randall for life, Randall in every video, Randall's channel, Papa Randall, taking over the whoa, channel. Whoa, Randall, you need to I'm taking over the channel, it's my channel! Jake, I think this guy's out of control. Dude, I'm not even talking, it's totally Randall talking. Hey, I'm down here! What's up? It's Randall! Alright, you know, Randall, you can go sit out there. Please don't put hashtag Randall. I think this is where we're gonna wrap up our box for arcade. We hope every single one of you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you had a blast playing in the arcade with us. And if you guys did, be sure to smack that like button down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little bell button to join the Papa Jake army, because we'll be back with another awesome video very soon.